Welcome to Balancing Chemical Equations, practice number two, question number three, or problem number three. So here's our skeleton equation. We go ahead and have that. We have uh, C2A6 plus O2 yields CO2 plus H2O. And we're going to go ahead and balance that. So how we're going to balance that, we're going to start off by making sure that we can write uh, all of our stuff inside at the beginning. So we're going to write all of our elements right here down the center. We see no polyatomic ions, so we don't have to keep those together. All we have to do is write the elements that we have on each side. So we have carbon. Oops. And we have hydrogen. And we have oxygen. Now there's our three, I have it on both sides. So carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Notice my difficulty over here. I have oxygen in two different spots. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and now put the number of uh, elements that we have, or a number of elements of each element on each side. So we're going to start off right here. We have carbon, which we have two. Okay, here we have hydrogen, which we have six. Okay, and we have oxygen, which we have two. Now on this side, I'm going to go ahead and count the same thing up. I have carbon, which I only have one. Hydrogen, I have, look at that, I have two. I'm going to put a two there. And oxygen, we have two here plus this one over there, so we have three. So what are we going to start off with? Well, I like to start off with a lot of times just the very first uh, element. So let's go ahead and do that. I have two over here. I want to make it two on this side. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a two right there. So that means because, I'm get, again, remember, we can change the coefficients, which are the numbers at the beginning, but not the subscripts. Because if I put a two right here as a subscript for carbon, that would be C2O2 not CO2. Okay, so that would be dicarbon dioxide instead of just carbon dioxide. So we're going to go ahead and uh, put that number in there. So this changes here to a 2, but my oxygen now changes to 2 times 2 is 4 plus this one over here, 5. So that changes to 5. I am not going to go to that on this side. And there's a reason why, because I'm going to do my hydrogen first to see if my oxygen works out. Because remember, we said if we have an element by itself, we're going to save that to the end. And it doesn't quite work because, oh, look, I have an odd number over here. So that I, that can never be an odd number. So let's do the hydrogen. I have six on this side. I need to have six on this side. So in order to get six, I have to put what right here? I have to put a three. So three times two is six. So now I have six hydrogens. So that leaves my oxygen. So I have to change back to the oxygen. I have four there plus this three over here is seven. So I have to change this to seven. Now I'm stuck. Everything's done, but this side has to be even for this to work out. So what do I do? Okay, here's your clue to what you do. You double all your numbers. So let's go ahead and this one number is one, so we're going to double it to two. This one is two, so we're going to double it to four. This one is uh, three, so we're going to double it to six. That changes all my numbers. It cha should change this to a four. should change this to a four. My hydrogen is now is going to be 12. Oops. Okay. I'm just going to adjust this just a little bit. And this one over here is going to be 12. Let's make that 12 so we can see uh, what they are. So we have 12 and 12, 4 and 4. And now we go to the oxygen. I should, have, I should have 14, but let's double check. I have 4 times uh, 2 is 8. And then I have 6 times 1 is 6. So 8 plus 6 is 14. So what do I put right here? What times 2 equals uh, 14, well, I have to put a 7. So if I put a 7 right there, that means that that will be 14. And so if I go ahead and look at it, I have 14, 14, 12, and 12, 4, and 4. Let's double check what we have. So here I have it good. So I have 4 carbon, 4 carbon right here, 12 hydrogens. 6 times 2 is 12, 
and six times two is 12, so that's good. Now my oxygen, I know that seven times two is 14, and on this side I have four times two, which is eight, plus six times one, which is six, so eight plus six is 14. So I have my molar ratio. So let's go ahead and write that out. So my molar ratio is two to seven to four to six. Now again, I always ask myself, can I reduce? Well, the, my smallest number is two, so can I re reduce everything by two? Well, I cannot reduce the seven evenly by two, so I can't reduce them all. So we're gonna go ahead and we will make that bold, highlight the answer, and there we go. There's our balanced chemical equation for problem number three of practice sheet number two. Okay, that's it. Hopefully you got some information out of that if you didn't know how to do it, and good luck with the rest of them. Nelson out.